come down onto your back in constructive rest. Take your time as you come down. Feet nice and wide out to the edges of your mat, knees dropping in towards each other, arms in whatever comfortable position is a great start for you. And then just give your body a second to settle in. Take a second to do that quick little assess and make sure your body feels like it's in that most comfortable position it can be in. If there's anything that needs a little wiggle or a little adjust, take a second to do that. And then on your next big exhale, just let your body get a little heavier into the ground. In this quiet and still position, just tune in and notice how your physical body is feeling this morning. In this soft and still position, it might feel like everything's feeling pretty good, but if there's any parts that are calling out to you that want a little bit of extra attention, just make sure that you honor those places throughout your practice. To the best of your ability, keeping your body in that soft, quiet shape. Hands are going to just float onto the belly and you're just going to spread your fingers as wide as you can onto your belly. And then just allow your breath to come in and out through your nose best you can. And just notice the gentle movement of breath that occurs in your abdomen. So we don't breathe down into the belly, but when we breathe into the lungs and the diaphragm moves down, there is a movement in the abdomen. So see if you can just allow your hands to rest heavy on your belly. Notice the movement of breath in your body. Before we move away from this place, take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. With that intention set, we're gonna slide the hands up just so that they find the bottom of the rib cage. So you're gonna feel that nice little curvature of the ribs and just let your hands rest so that maybe your fingers are on the, the solar plexus or kind of wrapping underneath the rib line and then the palms are up on the rib cage. And so then once you found your way there with that handhold, take a couple of just natural neutral breaths, nothing extreme, just noticing the gentle movement of your breath here. And then from here, we're going to keep our hands on just so that we can kind of tune in and feel that physical action, but we're going to take it into that complete yogic breath. So we're going to breathe with an inhale down to the bottom of the lungs. So we're going to think, fill up the bottom of the lungs first, middle of the lungs, top of the lungs, or think collarbones. So we're going to inhale down to the bottom of the lungs middle of the lungs, all the way up to the collarbones. And then as you exhale, you're gonna exhale from the collarbones, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs. Inhale, bring the breath down to the bottom of the lungs, middle of the lungs, up to the collarbones. And then exhale from the collarbones, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs. Inhale to the bottom of the rib cage, middle of the chest, 
up to the collarbones. Exhale from the collarbones, middle of the chest, bottom of the rib cage. Take about three more cycles of breath here, seeing if you can just find that depth of breath. Breathing down to the bottom of the lungs and then filling upward. And then exhaling from the top, releasing down to the bottom. Take one more cycle of breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, release your arms into I Dream of Genie arms, that square across the chest so we're holding onto the elbows. And then we're gonna right away take the elbows in the head in opposite directions. So as your elbows draw to one side, your head is gonna turn in the opposite direction of the elbows. And then just find some fluid movement here. So we're bringing a little space into the thoracic spine, a little gentle movement into the head and the neck. As you do this work here, just kind of tune in and notice how is your head and neck feeling? How are your shoulders feeling? How is your back feeling? Take one more time each side or even yourself out and then arms are gonna float up into cactus or goalpost position. And then we're gonna add the knees as well. So we're gonna keep that head turn, arms are gonna be out in that wider position and then knees are gonna drop side to side. And then as you do this work here, tune in and notice how are your hips feeling? How are your knees feeling? How are your ankles feeling? And how is your back feeling? Take one more drop of the knees side to side. And then as everything comes back to center, we're gonna walk the feet in so that they're a little bit closer. Hands are gonna float down alongside the hips, palms facing down. And now we're just gonna take a second to tune into the upper body and the arms. So we're gonna press into the palms, press into the backs of your arms, anchor your shoulder heads down, and then see if you can pull your back of your rib cage down. So we press the arms down, the shoulder heads down, and then press the backs of the ribs down and then let all of that go. Relax your pelvis, relax your ribs, relax your arms. Then we're gonna do that again. Press your arms into the ground, backs of the arms, shoulder heads down, and then press the back of your rib cage down. And then once you've found that strong position, just for a moment here, you're gonna see if you can keep that stronger position with your abdomen where your rib cage is pulling down, but release your arms first and then relax your rib cage. And now we're gonna do that one more time. Press your arms into the ground, Press the backs of your arms down, shoulder heads down. Press the back of your rib cage down. Feel the abdominal muscles kick on. Relax your arms. Hold that strong position in your center just for a moment and then let everything go and move right into pelvic tilt. Pressing your low back into the ground and releasing to the natural curve of your back. Whatever breath pattern you choose here is just gonna feel whatever feels the most comfortable to you. Take one or two more tilts of the pelvis, and then you're gonna pull your right knee up into your chest. Take that knee, draw it in a couple of circles, go in one direction. Notice how your glutes are feeling here. You might even notice a little sensation along the IT band or the side of the thigh as you bring it into that circle that comes slightly across the midline of the body. And then take that leg and draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna release and switch to the other side. So set that right foot down, pull the left knee into your chest, take that knee and draw it in circles, go in one direction. Take that knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release that foot back down to the ground. We're gonna take it into some rolling bridges. So we're gonna curl the tailbone up, think one vertebrae at a time or that nice slow motion lift. And then once you hit the top and you feel your tops of your thighs kick on with a little muscle action, roll right back down. Think upper back, middle back, low back, hips touch down. Once the hips touch down, take a breath and then roll right back up, nice and slow and even paced. Rolling up through the spine. Once you feel the tops of your thighs kick on, 
roll your way right back down. Hips touch down, take a breath. And then when you're ready, roll your way right back up. Roll your way right back down. We're gonna do that two more times, just rolling through the spine. So allow it to be a nice fluid movement. The next time your hips touch down to the ground, pull both knees up into your chest, give yourself a light little squeeze, and then we're gonna butterfly the legs. So we're gonna keep the feet slightly together. Knees are gonna draw out and away from each other and circle around up towards the ceiling and then pull them back in towards your chest. And then just smooth those circles out going in one direction. And then when you're ready, take your circles and go the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna pull the knees into the chest, re-grab the backs of the thighs. We're gonna start a little rock and roll. We're gonna take a couple of times rocking and rolling, working the length of the spine. And then when you catch a little momentum and you feel ready to come up, find a little balance, support that boat position, press the backs of your thighs into your hands. Arms are nice and strong, push up through the crown of your head, put a little energy out through the heels, take one more moment here. And then if it feels good, release your hands, stay nice and strong. And then from here, we're going to crisscross the legs and take it right into Sukhasana. So switch, crisscross your legs, find your way up to that nice, comfortable seated position, then right away, right hand's going to touch down, left hand's going to reach up. And then we're going to take it into some dynamic side bends. So we're going to take it from side to side. Just find a pace that feels good to you. Awesome. Now the next time the right hand touches down, we're going to walk out even further and let the left six bones or the left, your left butt side and <laughs> lift up off the ground. So you're going to dip a little bit further into that side bend with the butt lifted off the ground. And then the top hand, left hand is going to reach up. And now think about dropping your left hip down towards the ground. So you're going to lengthen through the side of the body, let the hip get nice and heavy towards the ground. Beautiful, with control, lift up, take your time, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. So the left hand's gonna reach out, and then you're gonna let that right side of your glute lift up off the ground. Right hand's gonna reach up, and then once you've found that position, see if you can get that right hip to get nice and heavy towards the earth. It doesn't matter if it touches the ground, we just wanna create that length through the side of your body. Awesome, and then when you're ready, with control, lift on up, we're gonna take it right into a seated twist. Left hand's gonna find the right knee, right hand goes behind you. Take one more moment. We are gonna come back to the side and add a side bend, but for now, when you're ready, release, take your twist over to the other side. Release to center. We're gonna take three seated cat cows here. So you're gonna lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back, round your back, round your shoulders, tuck your chin into your chest. Lift your chest, round your back, Take one more cycle of breath. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna take that twist back over to the right. So left hand's gonna find the right knee, right hand behind you, get that tall spine to start. And then we're gonna take the right hand and press it behind the back of the head. So you're gonna press your head into your hand and the hand is gonna create just a little bit of resistance. And then we're gonna dip over towards that left knee. So add a little side bend and then lift right back up. Head is gonna press into the hand, hand into the head, dip over towards that left knee and then come right back up and then just do that one more time. Dip over, come up, release your hand, unwind and take your rotation the other way. Find that tall lifted spine to start. Left hand's gonna come behind the head, press your head into your hand, hand into your head so you find that resistance and then add that little side bend, dipping over towards the right knee, lifting back up with control. Dip over towards the right knee, lift up with control. Do that one more time, dip over, lift up, release, unwind, take three more seated cat cows. Lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back, round your back and tuck your chin in. Two more cycles of breath, just move with your pace.
And then once you've completed those cycles of breath, take it into an easy seated forward fold. Keep a nice uplifted spine. We're gonna think hip hinge as we walk ourselves out and forward. And it doesn't matter how far you go, just make sure that your low back feels comfortable and your knees and your hips aren't screaming at you. So just you work in the depth that feels appropriate to your body. And then once you're there, take a second to soften your shoulders, soften your chest, soften the back of your neck. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully bring yourself back up and out of that fold. And then we're gonna find our way into a tabletop position or come onto all fours. So you come onto all fours in any way that works good for you. Wrists in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. And then once you found your way there, we're gonna curl both sets of toes under and start with just that nice gentle rock forward and back, stretching through the toes and the bottoms of the feet. We're gonna take our toe stretch just a little bit deeper. So start by bringing your butt back towards your heels, hang out here for a second and just notice how your toes and the bottoms of the feet are feeling. This might be enough. You might be like, this is all I need and you don't wanna take it any further. So you might choose to lift off and release your toes for the next bit. But if everything is feeling good and you're like, yeah, I would like a little bit more of an intense stretch in my toes. Now you're gonna walk yourself up so that you're sitting up on your heels. And then once you found your way there, arms are gonna open out nice and wide. Take a nice big inhale and then right hand is going to come on top. Give yourself a little hug, pat your shoulders, pull the abdominal muscles in as you round through the upper back body. And then we'll take that to the other side. So inhale, open your arms nice and wide, open your chest. Left hand is going to come on top. You're going to give yourself a nice generous hug, pull the abdominal muscles in, round through the upper back body. Beautiful. And then that's all we're going to do there. Release your arms, float your way right up into your tabletop position, release your toes, and maybe even give your ankles a light little wiggle. And then once you feel like you've kind of wiggled your toes out, we're going to move right into puppy pose. Keep your hips in line with your knees, walk your hands forward, and let your chest and your forehead melt down. Once you've got a nice shape that you feel good and you can settle into, take about three to five nice deep breaths here. When you feel ready, nice and slow and steady, walk yourself back up to tabletop position. We're gonna take it into tiger pose. So we're gonna lift the right leg up so that the heel is pressed up towards the ceiling. We've got that nice 90 degree bend with the leg. And then we're just gonna get those glute muscles, those big mus butt muscles to kick on. So we're gonna push the heel up towards the ceiling, keep your spine as neutral as you can, and then just bring the knee back to hip height. Push your heel up towards the ceiling and then lower the knee just back to hip height. Beautiful. Push your heel up towards the ceiling bring it back to knee height. And now we're gonna swing that knee around in big giant circles. So you're gonna bring it down, circle it around, and then take two more circles in that direction. Awesome, and then we're gonna take that knee and circle it the other way. Three big giant circles going in the other direction. When you're ready, release that knee down and we're taking that right over to the other side. So left leg is gonna lift up into that 90 degree bend and then push your heel up towards the ceiling release the knee back to hip height. Push your heel up, release it back down. Awesome. Push the heel up, release it down, and then swing it around. Nice big giant circle circling in one direction. And then when you're ready, circle it around, go the other way. Beautiful. Now set that knee down. We're going to extend the right leg out straight out from the hip. And now we're going to take the left leg, swing it slightly across and now tuck your right knee behind the calf. So a little bit of a modified figure four situation, and then take three good rocks forward and back. The next time your shoulders come in line with the wrist, stay there, but wag your tail a little bit side to side. Nice, and then when you're ready, release, unwind, and we're gonna switch over to the other side. So left leg is gonna extend out. You're gonna swing the right foot slightly across and then tuck the knee behind the shin or behind the calf. And then once you've found your way there, three good rocks forward and back. Nice. 
The next time your wrists come in line with the shoulders, wag your tail a little side to side. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, come to a neutral position, unwind your legs. Now we're going to step the right foot up so that we find our little 90-90 lunge. Lift your torso up, hands to the hips, and then we're going to go into a little knee and hip mobility work. So we're going to drive the knee past the toe and then bring it back up nice and strong. Drive the knee past the toe, or you go just as far as feels safe and comfortable to your knee, and then bring it back up. Knee goes past the toe, bring it back up, and now we're going to toe heel the foot out. So it's angled out at about a 45 degree, and then away we go. Drive the knee out, bring it back with control. Drive the knee out, bring it back. One more time here. Bring it back, and now we're going to toe heel it out as wide as your leg will go. That looks different on everybody, so just find the most extent of that leg out to the side, and then once you're there, knee goes out and comes back in. Two more to go. Beautiful. And then this time as you come back in, leave that leg out there and take it into that side angle. Right elbow to the knee. Left hand's going to reach up. Take that nice big side bend. Awesome. Now we're going to swing that top hand around and down. So we're going to circle the hands down so that they can find the ground. You're going to keep your legs as they are, but now you're going to walk towards the left corner. So your hands are going to walk towards the left corner of your mat. So you're going to walk at a little bit of an angle. And then think about dropping your chest down. So imagine the top half of the body is in a little bit of a down dog situation, but the legs are in that supported side angle position. Take one more breath. Soften everything up. Walk your hands to a neutral position. And then we're just going to pick that right leg up, set it down into your tabletop. And we're going to take all of that to the other side. Left foot's going to step forward. Find your 90-90 lunge. Hands to the hips. Beautiful. And then we're lunging forward. Knee's going to drive past the toes. Pull it back up with control. Knee goes past the toes. Come back with control. One more time here. Beautiful. And then toe heel it out so it's about 45 degrees. And then once you found your way there, lean out and come back in. Lean out. Come back in. Do that one more time. Beautiful. And now we're going to toe heel it out even wider. So you're going to go as wide as your body allows. Knee goes out and comes back in. Two more to go. Nice. And then as you come back in into that side angle, so left elbow is going to come to the knee, right hand's going to reach up, take that nice big side bend. Beautiful. Now that top hand is going to swim around and down. So you find the floor, release your left hand, and now we're going to walk out towards the right corner of our mat. So we're walking out at a bit of an angle. Chest is going to soften down. Walk your hands back to a slightly neutral position, soften your hips, step that left foot right back into your tabletop position. And then from here, curl both sets of toes under, lift up into a downward facing dog and take a few pedals of the legs. When you feel ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands into a ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So feet are gonna be about hip or shoulder distance apart, a super generous bend in your knees. So if you don't even typically bend your knees here, take the time to give them a nice generous bend. Let your belly and chest rest on your thighs. Let your head hang nice and heavy. Hands on the floor or hands on the elbows, just whatever feels better to you right now at this moment. And then think about just allowing that time to decompress the spine. So think about letting the crown of your head get nice and heavy. One more moment here. And then we're going to come up nice and slow. So bend your knees even more, strengthen your abdominal muscles, pull them towards the spine, roll your way on up, take your time as you come up. And then as you come up, take a couple of gentle shrugs of your shoulders, wriggle yourself out, get your clothes situated. And then once you found your way here, step your feet so they're about hip width distance apart. And we're going to do our pendulum arms, but we're just going to bring the arms to shoulder height. So we're going to lift them to shoulder height and then just let them swing down and then find a nice little rhythm here. Once you've got this little rhythm, if it feels good, as the hands drop down, you're going to let the knees dip as well.
We're gonna go for about 10 more here. So just find a nice rhythm that works good for you. Last one here. And then from here, we're just gonna step our feet slightly wider and take it right into some shirt sleeve twists. So we're gonna let the torso rotate, let your hands clap against your thighs or against your belly and your rib cage, whatever hand lands, whatever hand landing works good for you. Beautiful, take one more gentle twist each side. And then as you come back to center, step your feet in so feet are about shoulder or hip distance apart. So you just feel like you have a nice sturdy stance on the ground. Just for a moment here, let your arms be loose, soft and heavy. You're gonna soften your knees just a little bit, relax into the hips. And then imagine that your tailbone has a big fat dragon tail. So you're gonna imagine this big fat dragon tail just kind of weighing heavy off your tailbone. So coming straight out of your tailbone, you're gonna let your tailbone get even heavier towards the ground if it helps. Soften your knees just a little bit. Let your arms be soft and heavy. Imagine your tail is so heavy that you can feel the fattest part of your tail touching down on the ground way behind you. So if you can imagine that up, drag your tail down towards the ground, let it get as heavy as it can, soften your shoulders, soften your knees. Take one more moment here and then press nice and firm into your feet. Lift the arches of your feet, reach up through the crown of your head. Inhale, lift your arms up and overhead, look to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. This time, right hand is gonna touch down to the thigh, left hand's gonna stay up in the air at a light little side bend. Just dip over to the right, get a little reach through the side of the body. And then right away, lift up. Right hand's gonna come up to meet. Left hand's gonna touch down to the thigh, tip over to the left, a light little side bend. Beautiful, lifted everything back up, both arms up and overhead. Grab that imaginary beach ball. Exhale, sink right into a chair. Inhale, rise up. As you exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest, look to the sky. Inhale, reach up, grab that beach ball. Exhale and sink into your chair. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest. Inhale, hold that beach ball. Exhale, sink into your chair. Stay here, get a little stronger in the legs, bring your weight back into your heels, even lift your toes just to make sure that you're not putting too much pressure forward onto the toes and the balls of the feet. And then once you feel like you're there, sink your butt just a little further. Get that tail, that nice dragon tail, get that tail to draw down just a little bit. So let your dragon tail get nice and heavy towards the end of your mat. Take one more breath. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna take this into a fold. So soften your hands down towards the ground. Beautiful, inhale to a half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or release, just whatever feels good. Inhale, lift your arms up. We're gonna bring the prayer hands together, interlace the fingers, pointers up towards the sky. Once you've got that situation, we're gonna let the hips sink forward just a little bit more. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Take one more breath, float your hands down, frame your front foot, three half splits here. Pull your hips back, peel the front toes up, rock yourself forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Pull the hips back, rock yourself forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. This time as you pull the hips back for that half split, stay here, lift through the front of the body, create a little space, lengthen through your chest, and then soften your nose towards your knee. Beautiful, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up, find your runner's lunge, plant your palms, step back to plank. And now we're gonna lower knees, chest, chin. So you're gonna bring the knees down, lower your chest, lower your chin, scoop your heart forward, find a little cobra, and then either take it through a table or up to down dog, whichever way you like to get there. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold. 
Inhale to half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, just whatever feels more stable. Inhale, arms up. We're gonna bring the prayer hands together, interlace the fingers, pointers up towards the sky. Sink into your hips, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Wonderful, when you're ready, release your hands down, frame your front foot, three half splits here. Pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Pull the hips back. Rock yourself forward. This time as you pull the hips back, stay here for an extra second. Create that little bit of space through the front of the body. Soften your chest or nose toward the knee. Beautiful, and then rock yourself forward. Curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up through your runner's lunge. Plant your palms, step back to a plank. Knees, chest, chin. So we bring the knees down, chest and chin lower. Scoop the heart forward, come up into your cobra. And then either through a table or just straight up to your down dog, whichever way you like to get there. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms come up. Grab that beach ball above your head. Exhale, sink into a chair. We're going to bring the prayer hands together and take our chair into a little twist. So prayer hands together, thumbs to sternum. Left elbow is going to reach over and across towards that right knee. And then you're just going to take a second to look at your knees and see if you can line your knees up. So if one knee kind of pulled back and your hips shifted a little bit, can you make your knees line up, which might change your rotation a little bit. Don't worry about that. Let the rotation change, let the knees line up. And then once you're there, rotate just as far as feels good. Take a nice deep breath in. Wonderful. With control, release your elbow from your knee. Come through center, reset anything that you need to. And now we're gonna take right elbow across the left knee. Take a little peek at your knees if your knees moved. Now see if you can line your knees up, which might change your rotation. And then take it deeper into the rotation, keeping your knees in line. When you feel ready, with control, release your elbow from your knee. We're gonna float the hands right back up into that chair position as we raise the arms up and overhead, holding that beach ball. Beautiful, and then soften into a fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to down dog. Right leg is gonna come up nice and high into three-legged dog. And we're gonna step the right foot up to the top right corner of our mat. So outside of that right pinky finger, nice wide lunge. Beautiful, once you've got your way there, left hand's gonna stay down, right hand's gonna reach up for a nice big twist. Bring that right hand down, plant your palm, step that right foot back to three-legged dog. So send it up nice and high. Release that foot with control back to your down dog. Left leg is gonna lift up nice and high. We're gonna bend that knee and step it up to the top left corner of the mat. So outside of that pinky finger, once you've got your nice wide lunge, right hand stays down, left hand reaches up. Beautiful, left hand's gonna touch down. Now we're gonna turn the left toes out and step the right foot up to meet. So both legs are gonna step up nice and wide. And then we're gonna take three butt drops. So we're gonna drop the butt down towards the ground and then lift it up. Drop your butt down towards the ground, lift it up. Drop your butt down towards the ground. And then as you lift it up, toe heel your feet in. So they're about hip or shoulder distance apart. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, take your time. Roll your shoulders around, down and back. Take a moment here just to feel that nice, strong energy in your body. You might feel a little bit warm. You might notice your breath. Awesome, when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. 
Exhale to soften down, right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked to release, totally up to you. Inhale, lift your arms up. Prayer hands together, interlace the fingers, pointers up, hips dip just a little further. Beautiful, and then release your hands down. Frame your front foot, take one half splits here. Pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, pick up the back knee, come through your runner's lunge. Plant your palms, step back to plank. Lower knees, chest, chin, bring the knees down. Chest and chin lower, scoop forward, lift up into your cobra. Exhale up to table or through table to down dog or just straight up to your down dog. Right leg is gonna come up nice and high, three-legged dog. We're gonna step that right foot up to the top right corner of the mat. Step it to the outside of your pinky finger. Beautiful. Right hand's gonna reach up for a big twist. Float that hand down. We're gonna step the left foot up to the top left corner of your mat. So step it up to that nice wide position. One butt drop, so we're gonna lower the butt down. Lift it up as you toe heel the feet in to about hip or shoulder distance apart. Bend your knees even more, roll up to standing. Roll your shoulders around, down and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked to release, whatever you like best. Inhale, arms up, hands together, interlace the fingers, pointers up. Hips sink forward, heart lifts. Beautiful, and then release your hands down, frame that front foot, pull your hips back. Take one half splits. Rock yourself forward, pick the back knee up. Awesome, plant your palms, step back to plank. Lower knees, chest, chin. Scoop forward into your cobra. Exhale up to down dog or through your table to down dog. Left leg is going to come up nice and high into a three-legged dog. We're going to step that left foot up to the top left corner of the mat. Right hand stays down, left hand reaches for a twist. Left hand touches down, right foot's going to step up to that nice wide position. One butt drop here. So you're going to drop your butt down towards the ground. As you lift it up, toe heel your feet in. Bend your knees even more, pull the abdominal muscles in roll up to a standing position. We're gonna go with three heel lifts here. So as you inhale, lift your heels up away from the floor. Exhale, lower them with control. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, lower them down. One more time, inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale to lower them down. Now we're gonna step the right foot across the left. So we're gonna get a little crisscross situation. Right foot's gonna step across the left. So our ankles are crisscrossed. Pinky toes line up best you can. Once you've got your way there, we're gonna walk ourselves down. So start by just walking down towards the thigh. If it feels good and you wanna go further, walk yourself past your knees towards your shins. And if all of that feels good, you're gonna reach down towards your toes. Beautiful, with control, walk yourself back up nice and slow, take your time. Uncross your legs, and then we're gonna to switch to the other side. So left leg is gonna cross over the right. Find that little crisscross, pinky toes lined up. And then once you're there, walk yourself down just a little bit, see how that feels. And then if it feels great to walk a little further, and then maybe reach all the way down towards your toes. Nice, with control, walk yourself back up nice and slow, take your time, uncross your legs and find your mountain pose again. Anchor down into your feet, reach up through the crown of your head. When you're ready, inhale, arms up, hands meet chest, lift as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to down dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come into tabletop position. Now we're gonna pick the right leg up into our tiger pose. So we're gonna start with just that 90 degree bend, but this time we're gonna push the heel up and lift the chest. So we're gonna engage the muscles through the entire backside of the body. Hold it there nice and strong, take one more moment, and then release with control, we'll switch over to the other side. Left leg is gonna lift up nice and high. Push into the heel as you lift through the chest. So we're gonna engage the muscles through the entire back of the body. 
Lovely. And then release it nice and slow and controlled. We're going to come back to the right leg. But now as we lift the right leg up, can you lift your left hand up and reach your left hand back and touch the foot? And then release and reach the left hand out. Reach that left hand back. Can you touch the foot? Release and bring it back out. Beautiful. One more time. Reach that hand back. Touch the foot. We will come back to this, I promise. Release. Float everything down. We're just finding that control to start and then take it to the other side. Left leg is going to lift up as the right hand reaches out. Reach your right hand back. Can you touch the foot? And then reach the right hand forward. Reach back, touch the foot and reach it forward. One more time, reach the hand back, touch the foot. Beautiful, release it forward, float everything down. Big toes together, knees together. Pull your butt back towards your heels, take a breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, lift back up to your tabletop position, walk your knees out so that they're back in line with the hips. We're gonna go right leg, left hand. So we're gonna slide out into that bit of a spinal balance situation to start, bend your right knee. Now, can you reach your left hand back and catch hold of the foot? So top of the foot or the ankle. Once you've got your hand holds, can you push your foot into your hand and open up just a little bit more? With control, release everything back down to the ground. And then we're gonna to switch to the other side. Left hand, left leg, right hand are gonna reach out. So think spinal balance to start, bend that left knee, right hand is gonna reach back. Can you catch hold of the foot? And then once you've caught hold of the foot, can you push your foot into your hand and open up? Awesome, with control, release everything back down. Big toes together, knees together, bring it back to child's pose. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, lift up through tabletop position. We're gonna crisscross the ankles or swing the legs out to one side, but sit yourself around so that you're sitting back on your butt. And then once you're there, we're gonna come down elbows and forearms. So we're gonna bring ourselves so that we're propped up on the elbows and forearms, slide your left leg in. So we're gonna keep the left leg bent. We're gonna go slow motion here. Point your right toes, lift your right heel away from the floor and just find that hover for a second. And now we're gonna slow motion, lift the leg up to knee height. Hold it there for a breath once you hit that knee height and then slow motion, lower the leg back down, but don't let the heel touch the ground if you can help it. Find that hover position, hold it for a second, slow motion, lift the leg up to knee height. Once you found that knee height, hold it there for a second. Slow motion, lower the leg back down. Don't let the heel touch down to the ground, just let the leg hover. Beautiful, one more time. Slow motion, lift the leg up to knee height. Once you found that knee height, hold it there for a moment. Slow motion, lower the leg down. And this time when you get down, let the heel touch down for a second, relax those quadricep muscles, give your leg a little shake. And then when you're ready, we're gonna to switch to the other side. So right leg is gonna slide in, the left leg is gonna go nice and long, point the toes, lift the heel away from the floor, let the heel hover. Slow motion, nice and slow, lifting up. Once you found that knee height, hold there for a moment. Slow motion, lower the leg back down, but let the heel hover. Slow motion, lift the leg up. Once you hit knee height, hold it there for a moment. Nice, slow motion, lower it down, let the heel hover. Beautiful, last one here, slow motion, lifting up to knee height. Once you hit knee height, hold it there for a moment. Awesome, slow motion, lower it all the way back down. Let the heel touch down, Ooh, shake out that leg. Let the right leg come down to me. And now we're just gonna lower all the way onto our back with our legs nice and long. Once you found that position where you're laying on your back, legs nice and long, we're gonna take it into a mountain pose, but in this supine position. So we're gonna start by flexing the feet and then imagine your feet are standing on a ground and then you're gonna push gently, your heels are gonna push gently down into your mat. And now you're gonna squeeze your glutes, get your butt to fire up just a little bit. 
so that the natural curve of your back is lifted off the ground. And then once you feel like you've got a good strong position with the legs, strong position with the abdomen, raise your arms up and imagine you're holding a beach ball above your head. So feet are strong, heels are pushing down, glutes are kicked on. We're squeezing our butt cheeks together just a little bit. Two more cycles of breath here, nice and strong. Everything is still firing up. Beautiful. And then whoo, soften your butt, pull your right knee into your chest, and we're going to move right into supine twist. Take that right knee over to the left, over and across the body. Let your right arm open out nice and wide. Take one more breath. We're gonna pull that right knee in and move it right into a half happy baby. So we're gonna pull that knee in, swing it out towards the right shoulder, grab hold of the blade edge of your foot and then float that foot in. And I like to swing my knee to the outside of my arm or outside of my elbow. So the knee is out nice and wide, knee is anchoring down towards the ground, heel is reaching up towards the sky. And then once you found this position here, take a second to just come back to your breath. Awesome, now we're gonna keep our hand hold, slide your left foot in so it's in a bent knee position and we're gonna bring this right leg across the left right into a figure four situation. Once you've got your figure four set up, pick the left leg up, reach your hands through, grab the back of the thigh or the top of the shin and then gently pull the legs in just to your comfort level. Take one more breath. And then as we release, we're just gonna set up right to the other side. So as you uncross your legs, pull the left knee into your chest, let the right leg go nice and long. Supine twist over to the other side. So left knee comes over to the right, left arm opens wide, head turns to the left if that feels good. Beautiful, when you're ready, we're gonna pull that leg back up and in, but then we're taking it right into that half happy baby situation. So grabbing the blade edge of the foot or the big toe or the back of the side, just whatever handhold works good for you. And then the knee is out nice and wide, knee is anchoring towards the floor, heel is reaching up towards the ceiling. Once you've got your shape, take a second to just come back to your breath. Wonderful, and then when you're ready, we'll find that little bit of coordination. As we release our left foot, we're gonna slide the right leg in, take it right into your figure four shape, and then thread your hands through, grab the back of your thigh or the top of the shin, just whatever handhold works good for you, and then hug the legs into your comfort level. Take one more breath. And then with control, we're gonna release the legs nice and long and we're gonna prop ourselves up into a fish position. So we're gonna start by kind of pushing into the heels, lift your butt up and tuck your fingers, palms facing down, fingertips are gonna tuck up under your bum. So once you've got your hands trapped underneath your bum, now you're gonna prop yourself up. So you're gonna walk your elbows up and in so that you're walking your elbows in a little closer. So maybe that they're in line with the shoulders. And now we're gonna push firmly into the elbows, lift your heart, point your toes, lift your chest, let your head drop back or tuck your chin in. So you're gonna find the head maneuver that feels the best to you, but we're gonna keep that heart lifting up. So really energetically, almost as if you're trying to push the backs of your ribs up away from the ground. Take one more moment, reaching through your toes. And then when you're ready, soften your toes, soften your chest, walk your elbows out, Lower yourself down with control, slide your feet in so you can lift your fingertips away. And then we're just gonna let the arms come out nice and wide, toe heel the feet out and take a couple of gentle windshield wipers here. Just give a little time to let your chest and your shoulders just soften and relax.
The next time your knees drop over to the right, let them sink all the way down. And then if it feels good, you're gonna pick up the right leg, stack it on top of the left, and then let your knees drop down again. If your foot is stacked on top, go ahead and release it. And then we're gonna pick the knees up through center, let them drop over to the left, let them sink all the way down. And then if it feels good here, you're gonna pick that left leg up, stack it on top of the right, and then let the knee sink a little further. Nice. If that foot is stacked on top, go ahead and release it. Float the feet back to center. We're gonna toe heel the feet in so that they're about hip width distance apart. Hands are gonna come down alongside the hips, palms facing down. And now we're gonna take it into our our bridge for our hip work. So it's gonna be an exhale to lift and you're gonna to try to keep the backs of your ribs anchored towards the ground. So as you exhale, lift your hips up, keep the rib cage anchored down, inhale and lower back down. Exhale, lift your hips up, inhale to lower down. Exhale and lift up, inhale to lower down. We're gonna do two more here just like that. Exhale and lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. Come into that Supta Baddha Konasana or that reclined cobbler's pose. Let your inner thighs relax just for a second. Notice the tension in the inner thigh or that hip crease area. And then when you're ready with control, Bring your knees together, knees together, thighs together, toes together, and then we're gonna actively push in. So you're gonna push your knees in towards each other as strong as you can. Knees are actively pushing in towards each other. And we're gonna hold that strong position for five, four, three, two, one. Release that position, step your feet so they're about hip width distance apart. Back to that bridge, we're gonna exhale, lift up and down. We're gonna hold that bridge. We're gonna press the backs of the arms into the ground, anchor the backs of the ribs down, but the knees are reaching towards the toes. So nice and strong through the top of the body. Take one more moment and then nice and slow and steady, release your hips back down to the ground as we float the feet up into a legs up the wall situation. Once you've got your legs up towards the ceiling, give your right leg a shake as the left leg stays still. And then when you're ready, switch. Right leg is gonna stay still and the left leg gets a shake. Nice. And then when you're ready, float your feet back down to the ground and then ask yourself where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come to constructive rest? Would it feel good to take a more traditional shape or any other variation of the body that feels nice to you and lets you find a little stillness? Once you've found a position of the body that feels good, just allow it a little bit of time to settle in. Work out all your little wiggles. <clears throat> allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm.
you always have the option to stay in your Shavasana just as long as you like. But if you feel ready to do so, start to gently reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, invite some gentle movement in. Maybe take it into a big good morning stretch, like a yawn if that feels good. Arms up and overhead, like nice long reach through your toes. And then in your own way and at your own pace, find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Coming up to Sukhasana if that's available, but any seat that allows you to just sit up nice and tall. And then if you're wearing glasses just for a second, take them off, put them somewhere safe. And we're just gonna start with a nice upright position of the spine, close your eyes down, keeping your eyelids closed down. You're just gonna draw some gentle circles with your eyeballs in the back of your eyelids. So keep the eyelids closed down and just let your eyes roll in some nice gentle circles. And then if you were going in one particular direction, go the other way. Beautiful. And then keep your eyes closed down. Just bring the palms together, rub your palms together, create a little bit of heat and warmth in the palms. And then once your hands are nice and good and hot, we're just gonna cup the hands gently over the eyes. So not the heels of the hands into the eyes, but just gently cup your hands over. Soften your eyes, soften your cheeks, soften your jaw, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then when you're ready, release your hands, just stack your hands right on top of your heart and bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see. And when you feel ready, gently lift up to the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy, happy Tuesday. You guys are so awesome. <laughs>